myself Sandeep. We are a group of four people, Kandab, Koti, and Raj I am here to present the venture analysis of Jack Cogan. In this paper, we analyze Jack Cogan's venture. It gives a brief background on the venture and discussions and how it interacts with the ecosystem. The paper also discusses how the venture evaluates and executes opportunities and it, how it creates opportunities and it also compares progress with theory. The entrepreneurial process it also discusses the venture's marketing strategy. The remaining slides will be conducted by my friend Kandar Shukla. Thank you. Hi, my name is Kandar Shukla. So, Jack Cohen is a Canadian Australian businessman. He was born in Canada where he grew up and started working as an insurance salesman before moving to Australia to start his own venture. Owen got an idea when he was he saw people queuing for takeaway food at a Chinese restaurant in Sydney. Owen decided to expand KFC in Australia and borrowed $10,000 from friend and franchised KFC outlet in Australia. He, he also later franchised the Burger King but he could not use the name because it was already franchised by someone else. In Australia so he changed it to Hungry Jacks and Hungry Jacks grew faster in just 10 years he had 26 outlets in various states he franchised KFC and Hungry Jacks under competitive food Australia and he's he owns both of these ventures so now my friend Cody is going to explain this slide I am quoted, I'm, I'm going to explain the rest of the slides of the Coins. So, uh, Coin is also invested in many other ventures such as the uh, Stambrook, Pastoral Company, Network 10, Bridge Climb, and the Fairfax Media, uh, where he is a board, board member. And the Domino's, where he is the chairman of the board. Uh, the next slide, uh, to the great value and the strategic, financial, and marketing moves. Coven has grown CFA with which currently owns over 50 KFC and the 350 Hungry Jacks outlets throughout the Australia. In 2016, CFA has generated a revenue of 1.2 billion and Jack Coven's was ranked 24th BRW rich 200 list in, in the top 200 list. Uh, especially while coming to the Australia, uh, the main thing is the customer satisfaction. So, uh, customer satisfaction is the long term for the success of each and every business. So, Coven's venture, the CFA may have started with not such a much competition, but at the moment, quick service restaurants is very competitive. Uh, therefore, it is critical CFA be able to hold to its customers even as it expand and give and gets new new ones. KFC and Hungry Jack's outlets owned by the CFA enjoy great brand loyalty over the customers because of their value and the products they create. Uh, they also manage to keep the recipe secret making their special products also unique. Begin the food products a major, layer, a major player in the value creation for the CFA is a good and fresh ingredients. The venture has managed to secure fresh and the quality supply and the conclusion will be explained by my friend uh, Raj, Raj Shekhar. Hi, I'm Raj Shekhar. I'm going to talk about CFA today. So basically what is CFA? CFA is competitive for Australia. CFA has had huge profits over the years and it still continues to increase its profits. Coven, who is still a major shareholder in CFA and also has considerably amount of shares in Domino's Australia commented on the idea of combining the two businesses to make them one multi-billionaire dollar ventures. He is not planning on doing so and he said in case if he were liquidating one then he would invest in other but at the moment he is not planning on harvesting CFA yet. So instead he continues to develop it and plans on Introducing the innovation used for pizzas at Domino's and Burger Sings at Hungry Jacks. Thank you very much.